it's Rachel with Bar Centric. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a safe and effective prenatal bar workout. Uh, so what I have with me is this playground ball and a set of light weights. These are three pound weights. If you don't have a playground ball, no worries. A roll of toilet paper or even like a small pillow will work for the exercises we're doing. And at the time I'm recording this, I'm about 24 weeks pregnant. So this workout is going to be safe to do throughout your second trimester. Um, but every pregnancy and everybody is so different. So take this class at your own pace, make sure you're staying hydrated, and just uh, work to your own pace in your own comfort zone. So we're gonna start with the feet wider than the hips, hands to your hips, and I just want you to start to take a nice gentle circle of your hips. You can do these at your own pace. This should feel really great, stretching out through your lower back. Think of crossing your hips away from your rib cage slightly. I'm just starting to take some gentle breaths. We're reversing that circle. Again, at your own pace with these. Finish one more of those circles. Keep your feet wide, bring your arms up. Inhale through the nose. Exhale forward, fold. Cross the floor away. Roll up. So you're gonna lift up, inhale. Exhale for a bend the knees. Slowly roll up. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Press your floor. Roll it up. Do one more here. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Press your floor. And roll up. Just take your hand over to your right side. Pull down. Stretch through your right arm. Take it to the other side. Reach through your left fingertips as you stretch over here to the right side. Good, and then turn your feet out, just nice gentle breath. Lower down, inhale, exhale, pull up. Inhale through your nose, exhale, lengthen up. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna hold this one down right here. Drop your left arm down. Keep your right arm up. Stretch back if you can. Nice gentle stretch here. Opening up your hips. Four, three, and one. Good, drop your right arm. Bring your left arm up, same thing. Just nice gentle stretch back. Keep pressing here. For four, three, bring it forward. Toes forward. Flatten through your spine. If it feels good to shift your hips over right and left, go for it. I'm feeling a nice stretch through the back of those legs, through those hamstring muscles. And then when you're ready, just come down onto your knees to all fours. Plant your hands right underneath your shoulders. Navel pulled up to your belly. We're gonna start just Turning on our nice core integration muscles, so our nice deeper layer here. Inhale through your nose, release, drop your baby down away from you. Exhale, navel pulls up to the spine. Think of lifting that baby up. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Think of lifting your baby up towards your spine. So keep going here. You can do these at, again, your own pace of your own breath. Just try to tune into everything deep in the core. Activate and turn these muscles on. We're gonna use them all class today. Take your toes to the floor. This time try inhaling, exhaling, drawing your baby up and then lifting your knees slightly. So lower it up. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, lift the baby and then lift the knees. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, tiny lift. You could always leave the knees out of it, it fits too much. Exhale, little lift. Good, now taking your knees down, elbows come down, walk your knees back, modified forearm plank, shins to the floor. Stabilize your hips by keeping that nice contraction in your core. And all we're gonna do is hold right here today. So focus right on your hands, Focus on connecting in. Make sure your hips are level out with your shoulders. Again, just turning on some of those deeper core muscles to work today. Good, turn towards me. Extend out your right leg. Lift up 
on your left side. Bring your right arm up. Start to lift and lower your hip. Down an inch, up an inch. Lower, lift, down, up. Little pause, lift, up, up. So feeling that left side activate nice and strong. Hold here, lift up and down. Lift, lower. Hold this next one up, little pulse, it's small. Up an inch, up an inch. So if this is too much, just lower down and stay with the hip lift. Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Good, you're just coming right through center to the other side. Extend your other leg, reach your arm up, start to lift and lower your hip. Down an inch, up an inch, lower, lift, lower, lift, Little pulse, bring it up, up. So firing on that bottom side, really you feel like you're wrapping and lifting. Hold here, up, down. Start to add your leg if you can. Hold this one up, little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Awesome, coming back to center here. You're gonna bring your arms back up and then take them wider than your shoulders. Bend two counts, inhale, exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, lower down, exhale, strong press. So if this is too much, another option is to bring the knees right under your hips and do the same thing there. Take it tempo, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Your core is just as braced here as it was when we were on the elbows and plank. Good, walk your hands under your shoulders. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, press up. Lots of focus on your breath because those nice exhales will turn on some of those deeper layers of our core that we want to engage today. Take this tempo. Inhale, exhale, bend, stretch. Four more, you have four, three, two, and one, good, open your knees, send your tailbone back to your heels. Stretch here. Roll up. Great job, we're gonna head to that bar and grab your playground ball, if you have that available. Take it right above your knees here. With one hand to the bar, I want you to just turn again on the core muscles standing up. So close the rib cage. Zipper up that pair of pants. Start to lift and lower your heels. Up and up. And when your heels lift, feel like you squeeze the ball a little bit. So even activating those inner thighs are gonna start to lift through the pelvic floor and pull in, again, some of these deeper muscles that we wanna work. Adding on, lift the heels, squeeze, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, Squeeze and lower, up, in, in, down. Hold this one here, drop your tailbone. Down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two. Keep your hip bones pointed forward. So you can always take your hand and kind of test that out. We don't want any posterior or anterior tilting. We want these level and square. Now adding on, take a bend. Squeeze, squeeze, lift. Bend, squeeze, squeeze, lift. Bend, squeeze, squeeze, lift. Perfect, hold this one down. Just squeeze in on your ball. In, in, squeeze. Again, your class, your pace. You might want to be a little deeper to feel these thighs activate a little more. You might want your heels lower to feel it a little less. Take it down an inch, up an inch. You're squeezing the ball and lift. Down an inch, hold. Exhale to lift. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, squeeze the ball. Inhale, exhale. Take it tempo, down. Squeeze, down, squeeze. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, using your breath. Stay in it, it's okay if you feel a little shaky, we're getting close. Hold your squeeze, tiny pulse. Down to finish, last change. Add your squeeze at the bottom. Squeeze and pulse for eight. You can do it, breathe through it. 
four, three, that's one. All right, awesome start. Take your ball down, shake those legs out a little bit. And then keeping one hand to your bar, turn your toes out slightly, lift your heels, bring them in, bend down. Start to lower down an inch. Exhale, lift up an inch. Down and up. So yeah, so we're your thighs, but I still want you focused on your neutral line, on your spine. So shoulders over hips, ears over shoulders, and then tailbone over your heels. And while we're working these thighs, we just want that, again, nice, deep core integration. Focus there so that back can stay flat. Tempo, down, up, inhale, exhale. As you exhale, up, grasp your heels together just a little more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now hold the bottom, take your knees, back an inch, back hold. Leaving your hips forward, leaving your tailbone down. It's small here, it's really not enough to make your back arch. So hold here, hold here. Take a tempo, little flares. Back, back, press, press. Again, maybe a little deeper. Totally your workout today. Challenge yourself while keeping your form, that's important. Now one press, one bend. Knees back, small bend. Knees back, small bend. Hold your knees back, take it down, down. So we're pulsing here for just 10 more seconds. You can do it, bend down. Keep your form, just four, three, two, one. Awesome, awesome work. Shake out your legs, you can lift one leg, send the knee back for a little thigh stretch if that's comfortable. And then other one, lift up, send it back. Good, wide seconds where we're headed. Turn your toes out in your natural turnout. Keep your hips forward. Start to take it down with an inhale and then exhale to press the heels into the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go singles. Bend. Bend. We still have a really nice breath. Inhale. Exhale. Imagine that you're lifting up that pelvic floor, that hammock right underneath you comes up on your exhale. And we're triple at the bottom. You pull. Three, two, one. Big exhale. Three, two, one. Big exhale. Down, down, down. Exhale. Hold the bottom. Baby pull. Down. Start to bring your right heel up high. Keep pulsing here. Just eight. Six. Four. Three. Left heel lifts up, pulse here. Awesome, alternate this. Yes, so it's right heel, left heel, right. And left, you still feel that your hips and pelvis are right in the center here. So again, zipping everything up. Both heels up if you can, sink down, lift up, inhale, exhale. Tiny little lifts, those are small. We're gonna pause up to finish. So again, we're feeling that nice lift. Little press down to the bar in opposition position for eight, six, four, three. And one, gonna lower your heels, turn your toes forward, bring your hands to prayer. You're gonna sit back to your nice squat. Exhale to lift up. Inhale, tailbone back. Exhale, lift. And we're just gonna finish our thigh work with nice squats. Take it, bend, stretch, inhale, exhale. Don't forget to breathe. The more you can send your hips back while keeping that neutral line on your spine, the better this will be. And if this is too fast for you, you can take it half time down for two, up for two. So lots of options, but we're finishing with eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
to one. Awesome work. Come right down. Right leg forward, left leg back. Start to breathe. We're gonna just give these legs a little recovery. Take your right foot out, turn it out. And then I want you to just find a nice gentle hip and pelvis circle when you get here. So just finding kind of like a natural movement here. Just stretch through the top of your quad. Just stretch out your hips. When you're ready, you can start to reverse your circle. And if um, the arms up, or the arms here are too much and you have like a yoga block or something, you can always leverage that to lift your chest a little higher. The stretches are the same with the strength work in our classes. Take them at your own pace, listen to your own body. Make sure you're feeling comfortable and taking whatever else you need. If you need to come a little deeper, go for it. Good, finishing that last circle, bring your right toes forward, knee over your ankle, and just let your hips feel like they're magnetizing to the floor. Breathe and exhale here. Good, exhale, shift the weight back, flex your foot. Try and um, lift through your chest a little here. You wanna stretch through the back of your right leg. back. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, draw your navel up to your spine. Inhale, release, lift your chest. Exhale, draw your belly button up. Inhale, release. Let's do one more. Just exhale, scoop your navel up, round your back. Release and lift your chest. Draw your navel back up and take your left foot outside of your hand, drop your hips down. Whenever you get here, you can find that nice circling of your hips. At your own pace. Start to reverse, around. Lift, around. And lift, circle. And lift, just do one more. And then bring your toes forward and drop your hips here. Shift your weight back. Feel a nice stretch through the back of your left leg. And then when you're ready, Come to all fours, so on your hands and knees here. And this time, um, you're gonna do the cat cow again, but you're gonna take a little rotation. So you're gonna lift the belly, scoop up your hip to the right, bring it over, and then release. So you're thinking of your um, hips tracing a circle here. Don't overstress about the movement. Try to just find like a natural kind of rounding and rotating. When you're ready, reverse. So navel up to your spine, round your back, lift your chest. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Exhale. And whenever you finish your last one, settle into that neutral line. Take your toes to the floor, cross to your down dog stretch. Start to gently pedal out your legs when you get here. Make sure you're not holding tension in your head and neck. Bring your hands into your toes. Big bend on your knees as you roll on up. So your head is the last thing to lift. Good, all right, we're actually back right down here for some glute work. If you have that ball, grab it. You're gonna take it behind your left knee here. And you're gonna have your hands planted right underneath your shoulders. So kind of getting into that same position where your back is nice and flat. Should be able to balance a glass of water. And your baby's pulling up towards your spine. Bring your left knee up. It doesn't matter the height, just keep this spine neutral. Tap your knee down and lift it up. Tap your knee down 
and lift it up. And so if you do have a ball and you're holding it there, just like a nice gentle feeling on that ball like it's not gonna fall. We'll start to activate into your hamstring muscle a little bit more, but you don't need to over squeeze it either here. Bring this tempo down and up, down, up. Maybe not all the way to the floor. Inhale, exhale, find a range that works for you today. Now hold the top and squeeze your ball. In, in, squeeze, squeeze. Keep lifting here. Add a lift, in, up, squeeze, lift. I would way rather see you keeping your hips nice and stable, keeping your core active than a high leg. So we don't want any arching for height. Form over height, especially during this pregnancy time of your life. Hold here, little lift, up, up. So keep going here. I want you to see if you can bring your right arm forward and add a little pulse here. If this is too much today, no problem. You can do spider fingers, which are just your fingertips down or stay here. We only got eight more though. Eight, seven, six. Make sure the rib cage is staying closed. Three, two, one. Awesome work. Go ahead and come down right on your um, side here so your ball is forward. So now you have your left leg forward, your right leg back, and a little gentle press on your ball. I want you to feel like you're lifted up on this left side here. So you're lifting up your leg, and you're gonna start to slice it back, side. So keeping it right at the hip height, stabilizing your hips. We just want that leg slicing backwards through the air, nice and strong here. Good, adding on, send it back, tap, lift, and side. Back, tap, lift, side. And hold this one, back, just tap and lift. Tap, lift. Maybe you started to collapse here. So press down to your forearm, pull up a little more. A little press on your ball is also gonna help you get that lift that we want today. Hold this one up, tiny little pulses here. Up, up. If you're feeling anything in your lower back, I want you to reconnect it with those core muscles. Just because we're laying down does not mean you release here. Good, back to the front and back here. Front and back. This time as your leg goes back, add a small press to your ball. Side, back, side, back. Good, now hold the leg back, little lift up with the press down. Up and up again, let's lift our chest a little more if you can today. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Now bend your knee, we're not done yet, but almost. Wrap the knee back, wrap the knee back. If you come to our classes a lot, you might be able to take this up to your full pretzel here where your arm is extended, but stabilizing your hips for it is really important. Rapid back tempo, back, back. So options, you can stay down here or you can come up and catch the waistband just a little more. Work where you can. Eight more good ones, six more good ones, four, three, two, one. Good work, drop your knee. Bring your arm up with your hips up. Come down. Good, taking your um, right leg here, you're gonna grab it and just take some gentle rotation movement, feeling your sit bones down to the floor. If this is uncomfortable, you can leave your leg down. Drop that leg if it's comfortable here. Stay up here for a breath. You might even be able to take it forward for an exhale. If the legs are uncomfortable here, just uncross but take a nice hip opener stretch at the bottom. Good, take a nice exhale, release those muscles, and when you're ready, roll up, and we're gonna do the other side. Take you to the other side. I have the ball behind my right knee now. Hands below your shoulders. Go ahead, lift your core up, stay nice and active. Tiny bend on your elbow so you're not locking out the joint. Bring it up for two and tap for two. So if you have a mirror that you can kind of check your form, you can kind of look for that nice flat back. 
It's okay to have like a small little arch where your lumbar spine is here, but we really want to feel like we're lifting our baby towards our spine as much as we can. A little quicker, go up, halfway down. Powering through the back of that leg. Hold this one up. Tiny little squeezes to the ball. In, in, squeeze, squeeze. Now add a lift. In, up, squeeze, lift. Squeeze, hold, lift, hold. Hold your squeeze. Little lift right here. Up, up. And a little like tuck of that hip in opposition where you're really feeling more of that exhale, that nice deep connection. If you can, bring your arm forward, see how this feels. If this is too much, just come right here. Pause right here for six, five, four, three, and one. Awesome job. Release, we're gonna come down to our side here. So pulling up now on your right side, bend your knees, extend your leg outside. Press to the ball, go back, side, back, side. So do a quick check with the hips. Make sure they're both pointed forward. They're stacked on top of each other. Adding on, it's back, tap, lift, side, back, tap, lift, side. Man in my business, and he's all about his business. And his name is none of your business. Oh, oh, oh. Good, adding on. Send it back. Just tap and lift right here. Stay with your leg right behind your hip. And I know these legs are a little tired by this point, but just really stay strong, stay lengthening, stay super strong, like you're pressing through water or like a bowl of jello or even like marshmallows. That's the kind of energy we want here. Hold the top, a little tiny lift. Up and up. Lift and lift. Keep pulsing here. Up and in, up and in. Now back to side and back. Go side, back. As your leg comes back, a little press into your ball. Side, rest. Side, rest. Hold it back. Almost there with this part. Press to the ball with that lift. Activate your core a little more so you can lift up on that supporting side for eight, seven, six, five, four. Now bend your knee. We're in pretzel. Wrap it back. Back. Rest. Remember, option to come up here a little more if you can. Wrap back. Wrap back. Try to pretend like there's a wall in front of your hips so you don't, you don't want your knee in front of your hips. Tempo. Back. Back. Wrap. Wrap. Tiny moves, but they're really strong. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring it up. Stretch out all the way down that uh, left side. As you come down, bring your knee over. Same thing, first just gently grab your knee and your ankle. Take a nice rotation, breathe here. Lower down, take an inhale here, exhale, forward fold if you can. Good, exhale, roll it up. We're gonna take the ball behind our back. Right to like the low part of your back works for me. Feet are flat, hands your hamstrings, round out. Again, scoop your ba baby in towards your belly as much as you can. Now from here, we're just gonna start with a nice pelvic tilt. So you're gonna exhale, feel your belly in, and feel your hips tilting up just slightly. So very, very subtle move. This is really not about the range, it's about connecting with your breath. Exhale, exhale. Push there out your belly, nice and actively. If you make like a purse lift, that can sometimes help to trigger that diaphragmatic breath that we want. The one that comes from your belly, the one that's kind of like deeper in your core. Now we're gonna speed it up. Just take tiny little tucks. Exhale, tuck, tuck, exhale, exhale. Think of layering your tucks one on top of another. Coming in a little deeper. 
Good, hold your tuck. Arms come forward if you can, just the right arm. Up and down. Lift lower, stabilize everything else here. If this feels like it's too much, you can come here with the left arm. Left arm up and over, go up, down, lift, lower, up, down. Keep going here, just four, three, two, and now both if you can, bring it up and down. Of course, at your own range. Up and down. Lift and lower. Up and down. Four more. Four. Three. Keep the navel coming in. Two. And one. Awesome. Go ahead and grab your ball. Come down to your back. Take your ball in between your inner thighs. And just take a second to find your neutral line here. So the rib cage is closing in. Your belly's down to your spine. We have a nice natural curve right here. Keep that, but rest your head and neck down. Bring your knees tabletop and just squeeze into your ball. Into your ball. And hold. And hold. So we're seeing if we can exhale, close the rib cage, hold this neutral line as we squeeze the ball. Bring it tempo. In. In, squeeze, squeeze, in, in. Keep it going, in and in. Squeeze, squeeze. Eight more counts, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Nice, plant your feet to the floor, lift your hips up, bridge position. Again, belly in, heels down. Squeeze the ball, in hold. And hold, squeeze, and squeeze. Take it, tempo, in, in. Feel your hips and pelvis nice and stable here. Now go squeeze, squeeze, lower, lift. Squeeze, squeeze, lower, lift. Squeeze, squeeze, down, up. Hold your squeeze, just lower, lift your tailbone, tap. Lift, on the way up, give that ball a nice squeeze. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You guys are almost done with this workout today, so stay strong till the end. Hold here, squeeze with the pulse. In and up, in and up. Keep your core active. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, nice job. Lower down, reach your legs nice and long. Touch your arms out. Bring your knees into your happy baby pose. So grab the outsides of your feet. Make sure you have space in between and just take a nice kind of gentle rock and roll right and left. Massage out the lower part of your back. Good, and then go ahead and take your legs all the way down. Very carefully and gently roll onto your side. We're gonna come to all fours again on your hands and knees. When you get here, just take that second to draw up, engage. Bring your right arm left leg out. Take a little pulse here. Stretching nice and long in opposition. Now elbow to knee, bring it in. Out, in, out, knee to elbow. Keep going for that nice length on the extension. Here's two, and one, good. Settle down, left arm out, right leg back, pulse right here, up, up. Good, now knee to elbow, bring it in, reach it out. In, out, exhale, inhale, exhale. Four more, four, three, two, that's one. Good, come back to all fours. And then when you're ready, you can take it back up to that down dog stretch. Pedal out your legs. Call my name when you're alone. Exhale, roll down. 
Coming front, you're gonna take your left leg folded in, shoot your right leg out, really press that foot to your inner thigh here, so you feel that nice stretch. And then just take a nice gentle stretch up and over. Reach out, turn just slightly and take a little rotation if that's comfortable. You might be able to reach forward just slightly. So feel that foot into your inner thigh. Take a second to breathe. Make sure you're releasing all these muscles surrounding your hips. Roll it up and switch. Fold in your right leg. Extend out. Really press in. Lift up. Feel your sit bones staying nice and even to the floor. And come up and rotate and just, again, like a slight hinge forward is fine. Good. Fold both legs in. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lengthen forward fold. Roll it up. We're going to do one more breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, forward fold. Release any tension that you're holding. Let any negative thoughts out on your last breath of class today. And then roll up. Amazing job. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you so much for doing this. You should be so proud of yourself for uh, showing up not only for you, but also for your baby. Uh, leave me a comment or let me know if you have any questions. And we have more prenatal and full workouts on our virtual studio, which is virtualbarcentric.com. And your first seven days are free. So we hope to see you there or in the studio soon.